In this video, we're going to take a look at setting up different aspect ratios in the game view. Now, if you've kind of been watching through these videos in a linear fashion, please note that we are no longer in the scene viewport. We have switched over to the game viewport, which is, of course, what the player sees when you're playing your game. And what we're focused on specifically is this drop down along the toolbar in the upper left corner of your, uh, your user interface. Now, the first setting you have is free aspect. Basically, this means that the aspect ratio is, I guess in a way, kind of switched off. Yeah, it's kind of free form. It's going to use up whatever space you have your game or your game view open on your uh, editor. That's right. Whatever, uh, whatever space you've allocated for your viewport, that's what it's going to use, and it's not going to change the shape or do anything crazy like that. Now, you can switch this to all kinds of different aspect ratios to test this out, which is always a good idea with your game, uh, especially if you already know in advance that you're going to have like a 16 by 9 widescreen style. But we can switch up to, say, 5.4, and you'll see that we get some bars on either side to kind of condense our view down to the appropriate aspect size. If we were to change our viewport size by dragging... Uh, the bars in between here, you'll notice that everything kind of scoots to maintain that aspect ratio. So it's important to note. And we can dig through all of the various aspects. We can go to a, a 4 3 standard. We can jump down to a 3 2 if you wanted to go that far down. Uh, 16 by 10, 16 by 9, of course. And then you can do just the standalone for 1024 by 768 and see what kind of things will be visible in your viewport at any given time. Right. That standalone, though, where it says 1024 by 768, is something that you can change. And if you want to. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at how we can change that. What are we going to do? All right. Go ahead and go up to Edit. Mm hmm. Go to Project Settings. Go to Player. And if we go up to Resolutions and Presentation, expand that, you will see something called Default Screen Width and Default Screen Height. If we change those, we can change what you see in the standalone. So let's say we set this to 800 by 600. You can already see there's an update. Yep. Or you can make it something a little bit smaller. Let's say you're um, playing around with a web application. Normally, you would switch over to um, the web tab. But to, for demonstration purposes, we can change the number here. Let's say you wanted to do something, make sure it was going to run fast in a website, and you decided to make it at, say, 320 by, by 240. 240. And we get something smaller. Now, what you'll notice is we have a whole lot of gray around it. What that's doing is it will draw it at the resolution that is defined in there if it's possible. But if for some reason the resolution you chose is too large to display inside of your game view, it will make it as large as it possibly can maintaining that aspect ratio. That's right, and we can actually hit play now, and we can see what the game would look like in a little tiny 320 window. So very handy for testing purposes. So that is a quick look at the aspect dropdown here inside the game view viewport, and that will wrap up this video. Thanks a lot.